hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we bring to you just on yabojo we all know that once yabojo is up in her feelings she is always out to let the world know what's going on in her life at the moment and recently one of our greatest achievements so far recently was the just concluded reality tv show called the real housewives of lekki and yabojo was part of it in fact she mentioned that if not for her manager she would have actually rejected the role and she would later regret it but she's grateful and thankful that she did not thanking god appreciating god for the blessings for the opportunity for the achievements she had a video of herself all emotional singing praises to god and adding this long chapter of praises narrating her ordeal the things that she has overcome over the years to get to where she is today yabaudre is one person who at any slightest opportunity let the world know that a lot of people have called her failure but here she is today so at every point of her achievement she makes this mind that she takes herself back down memory lane try as much as possible to applaud herself for whatever milestone she just conquered at that point and one of which is this real housewife of lekki and she took out time to write a long epistle to god thanking him saying and i quote who am i that i am not mindful of your blessing i am never going to stop appreciating you lord i'm never going to stop thanking you lord things i overcame this world most especially this country nigeria i was treated as unjustly because of my circumstances and choices i made to better the life of my children one I became a second class citizen immediately my marriage failed a trillion times the hate the bullies the curses the unapologetic horrible rejections it was massive from my society my people my country being a single mom was like living in a foreign land with no papers thanks to the media writing and creating false narratives about me just worsened everything the word prostitute became my crown two choosing an acting career was like finding yourself in a crime scene you had no business being there it became a confirmation that i was irresponsible a whore and fame was the reason why i left my marriage acting in my language yoruba oh my world made matter worse i was tagged local and unworthy to associate with the so-called elite it was a big deal then even when i spoke the little english i understood people couldn't hide their shock even till this day we are underrated yeye beauty is our nickname but listen young ones local is original stay true to your culture because that's your identity 100. four i was not expected to have a voice i was a single mother i had no morals unworthy to be called a role model five and yes sharing my story on the internet labeled me talkative and clautino but if i had stayed in it and the deed had been done you all would have been quick to shift the blame on the dead forgetting our society created this fear the stigma the mockery the labeling which is not for the faint at heart we need to do better as a society we'll never fuck up hands in the air staying true to myself building a strong wall around my heart and growing in my inner strength and my children has gotten me this far and today i'm a success story i will continue to tell my story to encourage a lot of mothers out there you can and will win in the end and quote this was yabo ojo writing this long and beautiful message to herself to the members of the public and those who call that failure in general if you're a fan and lover of Yabojo, you would know that she's one mother, a single mother who encourages every single parent out there. Either you're a single father or a single mother. She takes her time to encourage them and let them know that God who saw her through raising these two kids all by herself, giving her all and making sure they come out the best will definitely come through for them. And that they should never give up and stay strong because eventually their smile that is the children's smile will be their strength just recently in january she also shared a throwback picture of her journey so far a throwback picture of herself and her two kids stating that she started this journey with fear in her heart as a single mother sharing and i quote this year i began my journey as a single mom with no direction i was afraid sometimes depressed confused and i always had a lot of anxiety 
I felt like a failure, a loser. I felt I wasn't good enough. I felt little. I didn't really know how to fit in or even start. How was I even going to pull through? I never thought of making it in life. I just wanted my kids to be fine. That was my ultimate goal. All I knew to do was to love my kids immensely and give them all of me. And that inspired me to keep moving. Today, I look back and all I want to say is thank you, Lord. It's never too late to start all over again. It will be tough, but you will be fine. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. This was Yabo Jo sharing a picture, a throwback picture of herself and her two kids. No lies, we have to give this to Yabo Jo. She has indeed been there for her children. And this is one of the reasons why she keep encouraging women to be there for their children, never to give up. One of her posts where she shared and encouraged single mothers, she stated and I quote, Lord, I am not perfect. I may have failed in other areas of my life, but as a mother to my kids and to the other kids I have chosen to be a mother to, I will never ever fail. That's my greatest determination in life. Hashtag great single mother, hashtag great mothers, hashtag great strong women, hashtag pillars of home. She continued by saying, it's not easy, but no one said it would be. So stop blaming, stop crying, stop seeking pity, stop feeling like a loser. Stop hoping for what is not and focus on how to make it happen. You are not a weaker vessel. You are the mother to the great generation in your care. Get up and fight for those helpless kids who didn't beg to come to this world. But it was your choice whether you accept it or not. Your kids, they look up to you. Your smile is their hope. So let your weakness be your loving kids and your strength be that your kids succeed in life. Never abandon your kids. I tell you, you will find your happiness in fulfilling your greatest job as a mother. And quote, this was Yabo Jo years back, encouraging mothers never to abandon or leave their kids, even if they want to leave the marriage. Sometimes she also encouraged single parents and said to every single great mom or dad out there, raising your kids, kids all by yourself. I tell you, this is one of the hardest, most frustrating, unprepared situation you can ever find yourself in. Most especially if you are not financially strong. If you are going through tough times at the moment, note, tough times don't last, but tough people do. Whatever you're going through presently for your kids is just temporary. You will overcome. Your tears of rejection, abandonment, pain, sadness, depression, or fear of the unknown will all turn into tears of joy soon. Happiness, gladness, and beautiful testimony will be your portion. Stay strong, my fellow warriors. End quote. This was Yabojo encouraging every parents out there yabo ojo is one person who sits and counts her blessing and give god the glory at the slightest opportunity that she gets we say a very big congratulations to her not just for her latest achievement but for the pace at which she's going yes she has been through it she has seen it all in fact she is one woman who has seen 99 so 100 is nothing compared to the 99 that she has seen and yes she is today doing excellently well for herself and she is someone to actually draw strength from as a single mother or as a simple parent well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below thank you bye